it's been a long, long time since I got the itch to write a book and I really, really want to write. Today is the 6th and I am going to dedicate 30 minutes of my night to brainstorming for this book idea. I don't know a lot about it except for the fact that it's based off a Sims character I played years ago and on my Sims channel actually that I have, you know I have a Sims channel, uh, we're playing around with this character again in a fun silly way and it, I was editing a Sims video and this idea came to mind. So I know the character's name. I know where the first book is set. I know where the second book is set. I know a little bit about the dad. He's got a tad um, that is important to the story. So I know a little bit about it, but I don't know too much. I know one way we're going to meet a character. Um... I know another character, so I have a couple of stuff in mind. So I'm just gonna take 30 minutes, write it down, and brainstorm for a little bit. I got some sticky notes, and let's just get going. I feel like a fraud because I haven't written in so long. It feels wrong of me to want to write again. Like I feel like I don't even remember how. I have not felt these juices in forever and they are just flowing like I have these two pages and then I also have like another page with basic ideas like it's so crazy that I don't even know I don't even know like oh my goodness and I had an idea like a soft idea for where book three would be set and now that I have I was brainstorming and I thought of like how book three would be told, I definitely know where it's gonna be set now. And I really wanna create the other two characters that I'm thinking of. Basically, it's like a book set in other countries because something I've really decided I want to do is if I'm going to write books, I want to write books about languages and about cultures because I love, love, love your Elska. Spruik, Spruik, you know, I just love them. So I want to have that love in these books. And each, I need to create a character for each country that we are set in. So I need to pick out some name, which is my favorite. Um, I just don't know if I should do that now or if I should do it after the brainstorming session. Does it count as a brainstorming section? Maybe I should focus on the whys. I have a couple of whys right here. And maybe I should focus on answering those in this brainstorming sesh or creating more wise. Hmm. I really just need to write out this plot idea for another book. Like it is not even the Maisie book. It is a completely different book, but it has come to mind and I really, really just need to get it out so that I can like move on from it. I don't have any... I don't really have any plot, but I have both the characters and names. I have their personalities. Um, one character is like the son out of a family of like eight kids. Um, so he's a very, very big family. And um, I just need to get this out of my mind. Something in my brain has just switched. And now it's back to being like a writer. And I feel like when I became a language learner, my writing brain kind of stopped. And then when I became a language learner who did college work, the writing in me just completely stopped and the language learner was hanging on by a thread. But for some reason, in the month of June, after I finished this past semester, all of my hobbies have been coming back at once, except for reading. Reading's not coming back. I don't know where she is. I don't know what she's doing, but she's not here with me. No matter how many books I pick up, I DNF all of them. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. Language learning and writing have come back into mind. And while I just recently, this vlog, if you're seeing this, that means I have started taking it. Like my brain has said, yes, this is happening. You're doing this. But with language learning, my brain has been like, 
yes, this is happening. You are doing this. And it's so crazy to me. I don't even know what happened in my life to cause this switch. So yeah, I just need to get this out so that I can move on with my life. You know what I mean? Um, because there's no plot. There are the characters. There is one of the characters, the male characters. Like I can't, I came up with their names so quickly, but names are fun for me. Um, so like, there's two characters in this book. And then there's the ending that I always come up with endings so easily, like so quickly. So there's the ending for the book. And then there's what ties the two characters together that's in my brain. And that's what I'm writing down. But there is literally, literally nothing else. There's nothing else. Like I have an idea of what ties these two characters together. And I have an idea for one scene, a betrayal scene. And I just... And that's it. That's all I have for this book. And I just need to write it down. And I don't understand how I came back to this. Like, I remember. I remember. Ja ihåg. Ja komma ihåg. Or tillbaka. Like, years ago when I had this constantly. And I just had a Google document filled and filled and filled with ideas. And I deleted it. I deleted all of my Google documents except for Aaron's wand. Like, when I stopped writing, I deleted them. Can someone go back to like, I hate when I do this. <laughs> I've done this several times. When I used to make machinimas, I stopped making machinimas. So I deleted all the machinimas off of YouTube. I would love to go back and watch those right now. When I stopped writing, I deleted all of my Google documents with writing ideas and drafts in them and outlines in them. I just like, they were terrible outlines, but they were there. Why do I do this? I just wanted to tell you that I'm outlining right now. It's not really an outline. I'm throwing up an idea that's not related to Maisie because, yeah. Okay, so it is now 11.41. I've spent way too long developing these characters. And not even, like, the female. Just the male because I really, really love the male character. Uh, and, like... He's, I've never seen a character like him in a book before. Like, his motivations, yes, you might have seen those before. But, like, the mental battle that he has to go through in the novel, I have not personally seen in any of the fantasy books that I've read. It's a very interesting dynamic. Um, and I really, like, he's the whole reason I want to write this book. Like, his story is the whole reason I want to write this book because I want to tell his story and I want to tell his battle with this mental thing um, and I also want to look at this career path that he's chosen like the plot of the book like I want to also examine what that does to one's psyche and his mind and so pairing that with his own mental battle during the book like I want to write the story to tell his story and I don't want to say his name um because he's just really precious to me and I really I really love him and like I was writing out what he looks like and he's not like conventionally attractive in my mind he's not conventionally attractive he is just a character a boy who's really struggling to find himself and he it's just yeah it's just his story and I was just outlining his character and so many other things like his motivations throughout the book like why is he even in this if he's such if his type of outlook on life is so different than the female main character why are they both doing this competition and so I had to create his motivation and creating his motivation created like another great, awesome part of him that I just love. I just love, I love him. And yeah, I, like I said, I don't know anything about this book. So I can't even try and outline it right now. Like with Maisie's book and her trilogy, like I am starting to put pieces together, but I don't have really any pieces for this story and this character so yeah let's just say i had a good little brainstorming session
I'm here because I am starting outlining Project Oxymoron. So I gave the second project that I mentioned a name. It is not the story of Maisie Owens. This is instead Project Oxymoron. And I love saying the name because it doesn't make any sense to any of y'all, but it does to me. Like there's so many things like the oxymorons of each other, but these... These are pretty intense in my opinion like these are very very off like very oxymoron of each other and so i just like it i think it's a fun name i was very proud of myself when i came up with that name when i was trying to fall asleep i put a little bit of brainstorming in my little notebook today trying to figure out one of the character's main motivations this character is very important i didn't want her to feel like she falls flat in the story because at the end of the story she does something and I need to still figure out why she does like why it's so important for her to do this thing that results in something happening to the other main character like the past couple of stories I've outlined I've used the save the cat writes a novel 13 beats story structure to outline and I've I never really liked the way I never really liked outlining that way so I'm trying something new for project oxymoron I am outlining it in the three act structure outlining method I've never used this before so we will see how it goes if I don't like it then I can just switch it but I like it I like how it's laid out because it feels like more brainstormy and then when you're actually writing the book you can just go off of these plot points and wada bing wada boom you have a story Okay, so as you all saw, I started, y'all saw, y'all saw, I started drafting Project Oxymoron because I'm having a really hard time right now with my stats schoolwork and just, I'm not enjoying it at all, but I really wanted to start, but I really wanted to start Project Oxymoron, like the prologue, like I have the idea in my head for the prologue, how it starts, I know that, so I just wanted to start writing and kind of see what happened it already started going in a direction I did not anticipate. Like that scene that I wrote was not anticipated. But I think looking back now that it's written, it was very, very good that I wrote it because of the fact. Oh, no, no. I think it's very good that I wrote that scene because of the fact that this relationship is kind of the whole catalyst into who my baby is as a character. So now that I've written it, like, it just adds so much. It adds so much. And I'm really happy with the fact that I just randomly added it in there last night when I was depressed over statistics. And I did have a breakdown over stats today. So now that I have the typical breakdown over stats, I can now go around and move on and soar like I did with my first statistics class. But since I did start outlining, I want to do what all of the book girlies, the little writer girlies do and write in their, write in their little book, like their page count. Um, obviously I don't know how long this is going to be because I haven't fully outlined it. And I'm kind of thinking I might not fully outline it. I might do a little bit of a, a planter situation with Project Oxymoron because when I was writing my Troll Hunters fanfic, I did the same thing. I outlined like the first act and then I wrote the first act and then I worked on outlining act two and then I wrote act two and act three was fully ready by the time I finished act two or end act one. Like... It all worked together when I started writing the book. Everything I wanted to happen came to be. So I think I'm going to try that with Project Oxymoron. Also, I'm impatient. So I don't know how many words it's going to be. Obviously, we want to aim for about 65, 70,000 for an actual book size. But Act 1, I'm thinking it's going to be about ten or 15,000 words. So let's write that. The circles are not even, but here we go. We have 1, 3, 5, 8, 10, and 15. So pretty big jump from these two, but look, bubbles. I'm going to end this video here because I realized that this is an outlining vlog and I've kind of stopped outlining. Obviously, I haven't outlined the whole book, but like I said in the last clip, I've determined that I want to try outlining act one and then writing and kind of seeing if that helps me with the fun and games because I hate that section of the book and I never know what to do. So I have an idea right now for the fun and games, but I don't really know how to get there. 
So Act 2 has always been a struggle for me, and Act 2 of books can disappear. And I mean, the book would be shorter and very much more fast-paced, but I'd be happier as a writer. So anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys on my next video. Adios, au revoir, salut, hey do, and goodbye. And yeah, love ya. Mwah. That's not my outro. That's not my outro.